Bella Hadid's 27th birthday sparks speculation about her involvement in Kylie Jenner's deleted Israel-related post. Fans suggest Bella Hadid may have influenced the decision, linking it to her consistent support for Palestinians. Social media buzz highlights potential friction between the friends, while others extend birthday wishes, emphasizing Bella Hadid's advocacy for Palestine. However, neither party confirms this speculation. A coalition of 34 Harvard student organizations released a pro-Palestinian statement criticizing Israel's actions in the ongoing Israel-Gaza war. This sparked outrage among prominent alumni, including former university president Lawrence Summers and U.S. Representative Elise Stefanik. Despite Harvard's official acknowledgement of the violence, the alumni criticized the university for not taking a stronger stance against the student statement. Over 150 Israelis, including civilians, soldiers, and children, were abducted by Palestinian militants during a massive invasion into Israeli territory, marking an unprecedented escalation in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Hamas, responsible for the assault, threatened to execute hostages for each Israeli airstrike in Gaza. The situation poses a complex challenge for Israel, with both civilian lives and the ongoing offensive at stake. Mediation attempts are in early stages, emphasizing Hamas accountability and urging de-escalation. Families of the captives endure a harrowing ordeal, hoping for the safety of their loved ones. Israeli defenses were shockingly breached by Gaza militants in a well-coordinated attack, despite a formidable smart fence equipped with cutting-edge technology. The barrier, completed in 2021, was designed to thwart breaches, but Hamas successfully breached it at 29 points. The attackers utilized drones, rocket fire, explosives, and bulldozers, exploiting weaknesses and surprising minimal staffing along the border. The assault underscores the need for vigilance and adaptation in Israel's security strategies. The International Monetary Fund IMF, reduced growth projections for China and the euro area, emphasizing global growth's uneven nature despite the U.S. economy's strength. The IMF maintained the 2023 global real GDP growth forecast at 3.0 percent but lowered the 2024 forecast to 2.9 percent. Various challenges, including the real estate crisis in China and volatile commodity prices, dampened global growth. The IMF stressed the importance of cautious monetary policy and advised rebuilding fiscal buffers to address uncertainties effectively. U.S. growth surpasses pre-pandemic forecasts, contrasting with reduced growth estimates for China and the euro area. In a swift and forceful response to a major incursion, Israel initiated a complete siege of Gaza, vowing to block vital supplies. The Gaza Strip, already under a 16-year blockade, witnessed relentless Israeli airstrikes on numerous targets. The conflict has left hundreds dead and thousands injured, fueling tensions as Hamas threatens further reprisals. International concern grows as the conflict unfolds, with implications potentially extending beyond the immediate region. Jewish communities worldwide grapple with heightened security measures and deepening distress over the escalating violence. A coolant leak was observed from a radiator on the NACA module of the ISS's Russian segment on October 9. NASA and Roscosmos confirmed the leak's origin in a backup radiator. This marks the third coolant leak incident involving Russian hardware at the ISS in less than a year. While there's no immediate danger to the station or crew, precautions have been taken. The incident's impact on upcoming spacewalks remains uncertain. A bipartisan delegation led by Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer met Chinese President Xi Jinping, aiming to mend U.S.-China relations. Xi stressed peaceful coexistence and win-win cooperation. Schumer emphasized open dialogue for problem-solving. He also urged China to condemn Hamas' attack on Israel, voicing disappointment over the initial response. The visit comes ahead of a potential Biden-Xi meeting, aiming to address a tumultuous year in U.S.-China relations. The delegation emphasizes reciprocity for U.S. businesses and fentanyl crackdown, with upcoming visits to Japan and Korea. A coalition of 34 Harvard student organizations, released a pro-Palestinian statement criticizing Israel's actions in the ongoing Israel-Gaza war. This sparked outrage among prominent alumni, including former university president Lawrence Summers and U.S. Representative Elise Stefanik. Despite Harvard's official acknowledgement of the violence, the alumni criticized the university for not taking a stronger stance against the student statement. Hamas, founded in 1987 during the first Intifada, is an Arabic acronym for the Islamic Resistance Movement. 
affiliated with the Muslim Brotherhood, it's vowed to annihilate Israel and is designated a terrorist group by the USEU and others. Seizing Gaza in 2007, Hamas intensified tensions, prompting an Israeli blockade. Backed by various countries, Hamas has shifted alliances, aligning more closely with Iran. Their recent border breach into Israel resulted in hundreds killed and hostages taken, shocking Israel and the international community.